And my 2025 battery bank roundup, this Anchor product is gonna be your best bang for your buck, even though it's ranked number six. Let's get into it. And when it comes to battery banks, I buy a ton of them, then I bully them by draining them at every speed imaginable, and then I recharge them like a maniac and hope that nothing burns up in the process. I'm very thorough like that. For capacity, it is 20,000 milliamp hours or 72 watt hours. This thing has a built-in cable, which is very handy, one USB-C port and one USB-A port, and the status screen is just a number. That's really all you need. Now, Anchor does pull out some of the marketing fluff for this product. It says it's 87 watts. That's a cumulative output. You get max 65 watts from here or the cable and uh, 22 and a half from the USB-A port. So they're technically not lying, but kind of are lying. This product has the uh, following charging protocols. And the one thing I want to point out is the 5N PPS protocol. This thing's going to be great for laptops. In terms of voltage performance, it performed above average in terms of accuracy and stability for both PDO and PPS charge rates. Really nothing to write home about. In discharge testing at max speeds, the pack stopped at 30%. That's a trend I've noticed with Anchor products. I think they get too hot and they just shut off or something like that. I restarted the test at 30% and when it hit 20, yeah whole thing went dead, but the battery bank was completely drained. So yeah, I don't know. Overall, when it came to discharge, I managed to pull 53 watt hours out of the battery bank, which isn't bad against the stated 72 watt hours as advertised. There's always going to be a difference because you have overhead, you'll lose uh, some of the energy in terms of heat. For recharging, it was able to accept 65 watts, which is awesome, which means this entire bank charged in under 90 minutes. It's faster to charge this battery bank to full than an iPhone to full. When it came to heat management, this product did run a little hotter than average, but nothing to be concerned about about, I think. In terms of size, this thing is pretty large. It clocks in at about 420 grams. For energy density, it's actually pretty good. And the handling of the product, this thing is very, very slick and smooth, so it's going to slide around uh, on a flat surface. Now, the best part about this power bank is that it's $70. That is a, a banger of a deal. You get decent efficiency, the screen works, and it has a built-in USB-C cable. Would I get it if I wasn't a reviewer? If I was on a budget, Absolutely. I'm on a mission to figure out what the best battery banks are in 2025. Um, if you're planning on getting this product, make sure you use my links. I'm a reviewer, not influencer. Don't care which product you get, just as long as you get the right one for your needs based on my reviews. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.